Hello everyone. Um, well, today is Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thanksgiving morning here, 2024, and um, I want to do this video just to get caught up on everything. Um, the last time we were talking, I was talking about uh, these harnesses. I was ready to start tying this stuff up before I put the tail boom and stuff on. So. Um, there's a lot of clamps to tie these harnesses up here. Everything gets tied to the engine mount. And um, just to keep everything secure and not vibrating and, and wearing itself out. So everything is clamped with these uh, Adele clamps. Uh, I know at one, one of the videos I call them DG clamps, but that's the manufacturer. They're called like DG 10s or 12s or whatever. But they're, um, in the aviation business, they're called Adele clamps. So anyhow, I did that. I uh, got everything tied up on both sides of the engine there. There again, I'm using my cheat sheet. Um, uh, one of the other things I started doing is hooking up this throttle cable. Got it all hooked up here um, to this uh, arm that goes from the, the throttle mechanism or cable up to the carburetor. That's all secured and um, then moving along over here, I finished up uh, the radiator. The last video, I believe I was talking about uh, hooking up the radiator, but I got that all hooked up now. Uh, hooked up the temperature sensors. Um, there's two different sensors here, and, and of course hooked up the blower motor wires. Those are all uh, hooked up. I had to put the cable or the plug ends on those wires. Um, those are all done. Uh, then what I was looking forward to doing is hooking up the collective uh, controls here. So um, I'm, I got a cameraman here. So cameraman, come around over here so I can get a little better view. Uh, so the collective, uh, of course, that goes to the swash plate, which you see moving here. And um, but anyhow, hooked up all of this mechanism, including the, the governor control, because this helicopter is governed just like uh, like the Robinson helicopters. Um, this is <laughs> top notch. <laughs> so anyhow, it's a, a servo motor that controls the throttle. Um, and when you're flying, you just basically flip the switch on your governor control, or when you're doing your pre-flight, once you're running up to RPM, uh, you flip on your governor and that'll control your, your RPM throughout the whole flight. Um, so anyhow, th that's uh, all hooked in now. And the twist grip throttle on the cyclic, or not the cyclic, but the collective, uh, that's all hooked up except for I do not have it hooked up to the the main throttle cable yet but the mechanism here you can see it's working um, so I got that hooked up and then the next thing was the cyclic control uh, of course I don't have the control stick on here because the cabin has to fit over it first but this here now is hooked as you see I move this it's moving the swash plate forward and aft left and right round in circles and uh, so that's all been done and uh, of course I have to hook up the, the friction yet that goes to the uh, collective. <coughs> um, the other thing uh, the I'm gonna I call it rudder but it's not really a rudder on a helicopter is a, it's anti-torque controls uh, which are your feet controls. So this is all put in here now, and this tube here, that's going to hook to the pedals, and I'll, like I said, I'll call them rudder pedals, but uh, they will hook in and goes all the way over to here, up through this uh, mechanism to, to the tail boom that's going to be through here. So as I move this control, you can see all of this is moving, including that uh, tube there. Okay, so that's all been hooked in now. Um, I'm ready to start to put the rudder pedals or the anti-torque pedals in. Um, one of the other things I did now was uh, the vent tube, the vent hose from the oil tank. 
that's going down past the engine and then there's uh, there's a drain tube that goes to the gearbox here that if there was a leak in a seal or anything that would relieve the oil and then you would see that you have an issue with your uh, uh, gearbox seals um, and there's uh, some of the harnesses here this is for the fuel tank uh, gauges um, let's see I got my cheat sheet here again let's see okay the fuel pump um, what I want to clear up a little bit is uh, cameraman you can come over here um, these wires now these white wires are, are my wires that I'm adding um, but the fuel pump controls they're labeled A and B but the fuel pumps themselves down here are labeled one and two and I did some research to find out uh, what it's supposed to be and, and I did find a, a thing by Rotex that says when your wires are labeled A or B A is going to be one so it'll be number one on your fuel pump and B is going to be uh, number two fuel pump so and, and uh, I guess um, you know when I'm wearing it myself I will label the wires correctly so anybody working on it in the future will know exactly where they're going um, these cables here for the nav lights uh, my, my nav lights on the cabin will be somewhere in this area uh, I already got them all drilled out or uh, uh, cut out where they're gonna go uh, so then I guess uh, I guess that's about about it what I did here recently um, I still got to put my hoses in cameraman you can come around over here I have uh, a whole pile of hoses here that are going to be going in there and those also will be clamped in with those Adele clamps so as of now um, that's about all I can tell you I think I got pretty much everything um, I think I got everything caught up that I can explain to you there there's a few more things like I got to hook up that throttle cable um, I uh, I guess we will catch each other on the next video so as of right now I uh, I don't have too much more to talk about but uh, just want you to remember that uh, this is a Sakari 8 helicopter I am a dealer here in Michigan um, and I'm representing Sakari USA and so I am a dealer throughout the United States and uh, I've had a lot of people contact me on this and uh, when you're watching these YouTube channels I appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to it uh, I have a lot of people subscribing to this channel now in views I'm really shocked at how many views I'm getting so um, any questions um, you can always contact me through my YouTube channel but sometimes there's limitations on on how they let uh, people contact and depending where you're at it and I don't know what that I don't understand all that but <laughs> uh, the best thing is you can go to my website and my website is extreme sport helicopter dot com and uh, at that website you can also click on my Facebook page and uh, my uh, phone numbers and emails everything is listed there too so anyhow um, I'm gonna let you go for now thanks everyone